Hi guys, welcome to our new lesson about liquid-liquid extraction. So today we're going to talk about liquid-liquid extraction systems. So extraction systems can be characterized by the number of partial miscible pairs which they contain. So we're going to show you the common types ng liquid-liquid extraction system. So we have type 1 and type 2 system. No? So simulan natin dito sa type 1 system natin. So ano yung type 1 system ng liquid-liquid extraction. So, in type 1 system, our solute dissolves completely in solvent and diluent. And in here, we have partial miscibility between the diluent and the solvent. Okay, so actually, meron na tayong idea tungkol dito because we already discussed about single-stage and multi-stage uh, liquid-liquid extraction no, in our previous lesson. So, hindi na rin tayo medyo mag explain pa no, dito sa ating lecture. So, our purpose now is to explain kung ano ba tong dalawang system natin sa liquid-liquid extraction. Okay, so let's say we have a system here in which we have our B and S where B is our diluent and S is our solute. So, what will happen if I add our solvent here? And let's say our solvent is A. So, since our solute dissolves completely in both our solvent and diluent, so we expect that our solute will be distributed no, dito sa B and dito sa A. Okay, but our A and B are just partially miscible. Okay, so what will happen dito sa ating system? Okay, so let's say this is what will happen. Ano? So, we have our new system here. Right, and then since our A and B are partially miscible, so we expect na magihiwalay sila, no? So, what will happen next? So, our solute is miscible to both A and B. Okay, so we will have here um, S which is dissolved in B, and here we have S which is dissolved in A. So, this is actually what will happen no, in type 1 system. So, an example of this system is this one. We have acetone, water, and methyl isobutyl ketone MIK system. No? And this is what we are seeing here. We have a ternary diagram here kung saan meron tayong acetone, MIK, which is methyl isobutyl ketone, and we have water. Okay, so ito yung pinaka ternary diagram niya. So don't worry on how to read the ternary diagram because this will be our next lesson. Now we're going to uh, discuss the basics of ternary diagram. So uh, don't worry about that. For now, we will just use this to represent itong ating pinag-uusapan ngayon. Okay, so in an acetone water methyl isobutyl ketone system, our acetone here is our solute S. Okay. And water is our diluent B. And methyl isobutyl ketone is our solvent A. Alright, so based from our definition, we understand that acetone is completely miscible in MIK and water. Okay. Our solute, which is acetone, it is completely miscible to both water and MIK. And MIK, on the other hand, is partially miscible in water. Okay? So, this is what will happen on our system. Okay? Itong nakikita natin dito sa ating box na nandito. No? And another example is this system, isopropyl ether water and acetic acid system no in here our, our in here our isopropyl ether is our solvent a and water is our diluent b okay and then the acetic acid is our solute s all right so now this is a ternary diagram for uh, our system acetone water mik Okay, so katulad na sabi ko, don't worry about the measurement. Kailangan lang natin yung ma-identify yung mga parts natin. Okay, so we have here A, which is our solvent. B is our diluent. 
and acetone is our solute. Okay? So, by the way, uh, itong mga tip natin in which we are saying we have acetone 1.0, that means at this tip, we have 100% acetone. In here, in our tip of the triangle A, we have MIK 100%. And dito naman sa tip ng triangle dito, we have 100% water. Right? Itong curve na nakikita natin dito sa ating diagram, this is what we call the solubility curve. Okay? I'll just write it here para magkasya pa itong mga susulat natin. So, this is our solubility curve. Okay? For this system, no? Acetone water MIK system. So, itong nasa loob, okay, so ng ating boundary ng solubility curve, this area na nakikita ninyo dito, this is a two-phase system. Okay? So, this is a two-phase system. And dito naman, we have a one-phase system. Because we have a complete miscibility on this area. Okay? Okay, so let us name our curve. Um, let's say this is point M. Let's say this is point P. And this is point K. Okay, just to name our curve. So again, the curve MPK is what we call the solubility curve. Okay? So let us name that here para take note na natin siya. So, the curve M, P, K is what we call the solubility curve. Dito sa left side ng ating curve, which means from point M to point P, point M to point P, this is the extract phase. Okay, so, inote na natin dito na para hindi na tayo mahirapan. So, this is the extract phase. And from point P to point K is the raffinate phase. So, sa previous lessons natin, in-explain na natin yung extract phase and raffinate phase, no? So, we are not going to explain that here, no? Magpapahaba lang yung oras natin. You just watch our previous videos, no? So, from point P to point K, we have the raffinate phase. Okay? So, as you can see, yung extract phase and raffinate phase natin is separated by our point P. Okay, so our point P here represents as the intersection of the raffinate phase and the extract phase boundary curve, no? Itong ating um, solubility curve. Our point P here actually is what we call the plate point. So let me write that here. So this is our plate point. Okay, so dito sa plate point, our layers, which means the extract and the raffinate layers, are of the same composition. Okay? So, para yung composition ng ating layers dito, no? Yung layers ng extract paste and the uh, layers ng raffinate. Alright? So, yan. Identify na natin yung ating plate point, no? Now, let us say, okay, um, I'm going to introduce another um, item here. So, any point dito sa ating... Um, extract phase, let's say this point. Okay, so this point is our equilibrium phase composition na nandito sa ating um, extract phase. No? So, let's say I will name this as X. And then, another point, let's say this one. And this one is the equilibrium phase composition dito sa ating raffinate phase. So, let's say I will name this as Y. Now, we can write a line uh, connecting our equilibrium phase composition. So, let's say this is our line connecting yung ating uh, equilibrium phase composition. Now, this line is what we call the tie line. 
Okay? So, as you can see here, dito sa ating equilibrium phase composition, mas mataas or mas malapit sa ating solute, which is acetone, itong point Y, no? Which means, on this condition, it favors itong mixture natin having our diluent B, no? So, this is basically uh, our uh, system, no? For type 1, no? Our type 1 system. And we will be discussing about ternary diagram sa ating next video. So, now let us talk about our type 2 system. Now, in type 2 system, the solvent is usually miscible with both diluent and solute. Okay? Kung maalala ninyo sa ating previous type here, our solvent is partially miscible dito sa ating diluent. So, in here, we can see that our solvent is miscible to both diluent and solute. Okay? So, kapag naghalo tayo ng solvent, miscible siya sa parehong solute and our diluent. Okay? Our diluent and solute are totally miscible. Our solvent and diluent are partially miscible and solvent and solute are partially miscible. So, katulad nung ginawa natin kanina dito, no? So, mag introduce tayo ng solvent A, no? So, what will happen if we add solvent A dito sa ating uh, type 2 system? So, again, let us write our rectangle here to represent okay, our system. Okay, so now we know that our solvent is miscible to both B and S. So, what will happen here is that we will have um, A, B, and C here. And we will also have A, B, and C in here. No? So, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, solute, solvent, and diluent dito sa itaas at dito rin sa ibaba. Because our solvent is miscible uh, to both solute and the diluent. Okay, so here we have our extract phase. And here we have our raffinate phase. Okay, so an example of this system is this. Aniline and heptane and methyl cyclohexane MCH system. Ito naman yung nakikita nating ternary diagram here. So, in here, our aniline is our solvent. Our enheptane is our diluent. And our methyl cyclohexane is our solute. Okay, and another example is uh, the system, diethylene glycol styrene and ethyl benzene system. So, may kita ninyo yung kaibahan ng ating ternary diagram sa type 2 and type 1. No? So, our type 1, okay, meron tayong plate point na uh, nagsisilbing intersection ng ating extract paste and raffinate paste. Now, dito sa uh, type 2, may kita natin magkahiwalay yung graph ng ating raffinate paste and extract paste. So, ito yung ating curve for the extract paste at ito naman yung ating curve for the raffinate paste. So, again, let's say we have our equilibrium paste composition sa extract paste, uh, which is this one. Okay, so kanina yung extract paste natin, uh, we name it as X, no? Yung ating equilibrium, equilibrium paste composition, we name this as X. And for the raffinate paste, let's say this one, we name this as Y. So, the line uh, that is connecting our equilibrium paste composition, let's say this one, let us write it. Okay, so this line is what we call our tie line. So, ito naman yung tie line natin dito sa ating type 2 system, no? Well, of course, depending sa ating equilibrium phase composition, we could have different tie line, no? So, we could have our tie line here. 
or here. No? Depending yan sa ating equilibrium phase composition. So, similarly here, that can also be the same. Okay? So, this is also a timeline. Okay? So, this is basically uh, what we have for liquid-liquid extraction system. We have type 1 system and the type 2 system. No? So, in our next video, we are going to discuss uh, the basics of the ternary diagram. No? We will show you how to determine the composition of our components sa ating ternary diagram. So, with all of that and more, I will see you in our next video. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.